Determining the better deal is something that a lot of us will do throughout our life. We're at the grocery store, we're looking online about you know, where to buy um, goods or services from. And it's probably most common to see it at the grocery store when you're looking at your muesli section and you've got a whole bunch of different types of muesli, which one's the better deal to buy. Um, so when we're dealing with this, you want to think kind of carefully about making sure you know how much of whatever it is you're trying to get per dollar or cent. So you're trying to write a rate with the money on the bottom. And that's basically what that works out to in terms of how we write it. So money on the bottom. And that's going to tell us how much we get for one cent or how much we get for one dollar. And we can see which of those two do you get more for for the same amount of money. So a 250 pack 250 gram package of walnuts costs ten dollars. I would write 250 divided by ten. So that's 250 grams divided by ten dollars. And this I'm going to get 25 grams per dollar of walnut. The next situation is that I've got 800 gram package of cashews costing twenty nine dollars. So 800 grams per twenty nine dollars. And here, 800 divided by 29 is going to get us roughly 27.59 grams per dollar. So now I can compare. If I had only one dollar to spend, I would get 25 grams of walnuts. And if I only had one dollar to spend, I would get 27 grams of cashews. So which one do you get more of for the same amount of money? This one here, you get more per dollar, so it's the better deal. So again, you want to think about when you write your rate here, you're putting the dollars on the bottom, you're trying to figure out how many grams per dollar, and then determining, okay, which of these do I get more grams of for the same amount of money for that one dollar? cents it'll be something per cents but either way your money always goes on the bottom and you're comparing the bigger one is going to be the better deal because you're getting more grams in this case per dollar